now join us in Crazy Dino Toys as we unbox our 15 Godzilla X Kong the New Empire Toys. Cool. Wow, guys, I just bought 15 of the new Godzilla X Kong the New Empire Toys at Target and Walmart. They are awesome. Okay, everyone, it's time to open up the brand new Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. This is the Heat Ray Breath Godzilla Remote Control with simulated Heat Ray Breath realistic stomping action. It also has tail whip and energy spines. Cool. Go ahead and rip this bad boy open. There she is out of the box before I put her together. Okay, she is free. Okay, so the only really cool thing I see on this guy is the heat ray breath. Uh, the rest, I don't know. Seems kind of lame. Okay, that heat ray breath is cool. I mean, it's using like a uh, humidifier to let out uh, steam, but it's supposed to be like a heat ray. It was a good distance, so I mean, besides that, I don't know. The rest is kind of lame. But I wanted to be excited because it's a cool toy. The remote is cool. It's in the shape of Godzilla's foot. This is the heat ray button here. You see in the background there. This is the roar. This is to move forward, so I don't know what they're talking realistic stomping action. And if you turn it, uh, if you just push the turn button once, he does whip his tail a little bit. So I guess that's what they're saying, realistic tail whipping action. But there is no reverse. So, I mean, you need plenty of room to operate this girl because... She won't turn on short distances. She's about to knock my water bottle. See, I mean, you you need like a wide open area to get her to turn. So, I mean, if you can live with uh, that heat ray being pretty much the only cool thing about it, uh, which you might be able to because that is really cool. Let me take a look at that. Okay, the other cool thing is when it does that heat ray breath, I didn't see it with my bright light. Uh, the mouth does light up. So, in the eyes. So, that is cool. So, you know what? To tell you the truth, I would probably buy it just for that feature. I mean, that is pretty bad looking. Look at that. <laughs> and then, uh, okay, the spikes light up too. There you can see the spike lighting up, so that is cool too. Let's try that one more time. And here it is, face on, look at that. <laughs> okay, I would buy it just for that feature, I mean that really is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the rest. Uh, this whole part is rubber. That's how you get the uh, movement. I mean, there's, it's, it's just basically a rubber piece. Uh, the spikes are hard plastic. The legs are hard plastic. This uh, back part of the tail you attach is all rubber. Remote control Godzilla. It'd be kind of cool if you could get her to do the uh, heat ray blast while moving forward. So do the heat ray breath as her walk forward. Heat 
the Tails, uh, Tails switching action, Tail switching action. So, there you have it. So, I mean, uh, it is a little expensive for that just one cool feature, but that cool feature is really cool. This uh, older Godzilla toy I have, I think it's from the 1990s. I think it's cooler. It has a spanking motion. It has a striking stopping motion. It has a foot stopping motion. And then a tail slinging action. And you can do all four of them at the same time. Check that out. This other remote control Godzilla was really weird. You had a tank here, you pushed it, so the tank fired. And then Godzilla opens his mouth and he starts vibrating and roaring. This is really weird. You can see there, he's still vibrating and moving. So that is fun, weird looking. Godzilla vs. Shimo vs. Indominus Rex. It's Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. Godzilla vs. Shimo. That is our remote control Godzilla, which I already reviewed. This has the four piece diorama set exclusive to Walmart figures. That is versing my giant custom made Indominus Rex. So this has a six inch Godzilla Evolved with heat ray, six inch Shimo, frost ray breath, two piece bone cage diorama. Let's open it in. So there's what we have in the package. Before we open it up, you got the two figures, the two tails, and the diorama we have to pop off and put together. Cool. Go ahead and free these guys from the package. Although I don't know if Shimo's a guy or a girl. I know a uh, Godzilla is supposed to be male. Ah, come on, Shimo! Oops! Shimo is not totally freed. Okay. Ah, there we got Shimo. And now, Godzilla. Ah, and Godzilla. And Godzilla's tail and Shimo's tail, plus their heat ray and frost breaths. Okay, so let's put these together. First, Godzilla, simply go ahead and snap on his tail. He's got the weird looking, like, altered tail, just like uh, King Kong's got the beast glove. So they got a, uh, they must have added some type of alteration to Godzilla too, just like they did to Kong. Okay, there we have the Godzilla and the Shimo put together. Uh, let's go ahead and free their heat ray and fire. Uh, what is that? Yeah, heat ray and frost breath. And then go ahead and put them in. So Godzilla should, oh. How in the world is this? Or like this? No, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so they changed the uh, designs. They have like these different spikes on the side. 
and a hole on top so it fits in here and the spikes hold it in there securely so it looks like flames are coming out the side of the mouth which is cool because before the design was, was just one single piece that went in and it fell out easily so Shimo's it looks like it's the same yep he's got a hole on the top of his mouth go ahead and fit it in there there we have it awesome I like it because these are gonna stay in there much better than the old ones okay so let's put the diorama sets together with this one you have a slot here go ahead and fold it in there you got that piece and then you go ahead and put one of the bones there the other bone right there you got one diorama built same with this one you got a slot here go ahead and fit it right in there you have the bone here I don't think it matters which one you put first I mean I guess it's pretty much up to you and then with this one you have this uh, like crystal type thing Put it in the slot there. You got a big slot over here. Probably butchering it, but it's working. So, and then one more. You got a big slot here and there. Two big slots there. Go ahead and slightly fold it. Ah, uh, it does work better if you do both at the same time. You cause less damage to the diorama. Yep. So you have uh, free, two freestanding crystals here. You got the bones over there. Awesome. It's Godzilla vs. Shimo vs. Indominus Rex with our huge remote control Godzilla in the background. Cool. Who will be our victim? Check out how cool that frost gray breath is on the uh, remote control Godzilla. I would buy it just for that. But anyways, let's check these out. So the Godzilla, it's really nice formed. He's got this uh, weird looking tail. Like I said, it's probably modified somehow, just like Kong has that giant uh, like beast glove that is like, like a cyborg type arm. So maybe Godzilla has a cyborg tail, huh, cool. So he's got these big spikes under his arm. He's shooting out his heat ray. He's got like see-through spikes on his back. So this is really good quality, especially for what you're paying. I mean, I think this was under $15 for all of it. And then you got Shimo, which seems like some type of a white dragon. So I don't know if Shimo's a good guy or a bad guy at this point. But it looks like uh, Shimo is meant to walk on fours because both all four of his legs are about the same length. So I don't know. I don't know if he even stands up. I mean, you got the flexible, movable head. You got the frost ray breath. Really cool spikes. Maybe some type of cyborg type tail on this one either like i said i don't know if it's a guy or a girl and then in the background there you have the giant diorama so you got the bones sticking out of the ground you got the crystals i mean it is just awesome what you're paying for this is a cool set definitely Gone, vile lizard, no one can challenge Scar King! Toys, we're gonna unbox the giant Scar King with Whiplash. Look at this guy, man, he is cool. Very evil looking. Okay, time to free him from the package. Cool. And 
That's a lot of strings. He should be free. Oh, they have one on his back. Which I did not even see. Is that it? Oh, they got one on his butt, too. <laughs> How many strings we got on this guy? Ah, oh, there we go. He is free. Okay, there is our giant Scar King. Really cool looking. Uh, it'd be nice if they would have uh, made his mouth to open and close because that would have gave much more playability. Uh, that his whiplash does come apart, guys. You just you gotta give it a good yank because it, it sticks in there pretty good. So it's it's a uh, giant vertebrae, maybe from a dinosaur or something. Check out the size of that. And it does fit into his lap, so then he could whip stuff with it. See? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that that's really cool. I mean, check check this out. So it is a giant vertebrae there, and then whip it, whip it, whip it real good, whip it, whip it, whip it real. Good. One thing I found really weird about this character, he's got giant holes in his feet. I mean, those go, they look like they go all the way up. I don't have a... Okay, they go up a pretty good amount. <laughs> is, that, is that made for a reason? I don't know. But here you can see the whiplash is really nice and long. Uh, Scar King, I mean, he looks weird without the whiplash on his chest but he does have some uh check that out i mean he's got some really good movement on his uh chest here and stuff uh really cool uh mean looking expression uh bright blue eyes in the back you do have all the bullet holes which a lot of the figures uh do have if you're not paying for the custom ones the elbows do bend, so you could put him in a cool uh, whipping position there. You can see he does have a smug type look like, Who can challenge me? I'm the best! Be gone, vile wizard! No one can challenge Scar King! <laughs> There he is next to the giant Godzilla remote control. It's Kong vs. Giant Dino! The new Empire Giant Kong with Beast Glove! Cool Giant Kong with Cyborg Arm! Check out the back. Cool. Ah. New Adventure pitting Kong and the Godzilla against a colossal undiscovered threat hit, hidden within our world. Go ahead and free Kong! Let's see if he has as many strings as Scar King. <laughs> Actually, it looks like he might have more. Wow. What in the world do they tie these up for like that? Do they think he's gonna ship through a tornado or a hurricane or something? I don't know, man. Ah! 
Come on, give me that! Reach it. I caught part of it. Let's see if you can yank it out. Nope. Kong is free! Actually, no, he's not. Wait. Ah, and Kong is free from his nefarious packaging. And there's Kong next to the giant Scar King. They do seem to be pretty much the same size. Okay, so it looks like Kong is going to be joining forces with Godzilla again. Against Scar King and whatever dangers lurk inside the Earth. So this is VT-61. So this definitely is some type of cyborg arm. I guess to enhance his strength? Huh, that's weird. And then you can see the uh, King Kong face. I mean, they did a good job with the face. I'm just not really happy we have no way to control it. It would be nice if it had a button to, like, open and close his mouth or something. One thing that's weird on his legs here, look. They moved the, they made the bottom of his legs move so he could stand up. They should have done that to the Scar King because it has a really hard time standing. So I do like that because otherwise uh, this Scar, like the Scar King, if you just put it normal like this, I mean, he tends to want to fall all the time. I mean, it's, okay, now he's just barely holding himself on. So if they would have done that with the Scar King also, he would have been able to stand a lot easier. But it's weird they didn't put it at his knee. But anyways, moving on. So you can see uh, he does have all the bullet holes in the back. So these are definitely made. So you're only looking at the front. I do like how they swing his arm around like that. That's cool. And it's open so he can hold stuff to pound stuff with. Cool. Here's another Cyborg Kong I reviewed before, but this is really a Cyborg Kong. I mean, look at this guy's with the big Cyborg arms and all the wiring, and I actually lost his legs, so <laughs> he's got a hard time standing. But that's a really cool Cyborg Kong, too. Today on Crazy Dino Toys, we're going to be unboxing the giant Godzilla Evolve. It's got really cool red spikes. It looks awesome. Check out the back. Cool. Let's free her. Okay, so this doesn't seem to have as many strings as the King Kong and the Scar King had. Let's see. One, two. Third one down here. Arrgh. There we go. I think that's it for the Ah no, they tricked me. There was one more on the other leg. Okay, so Godzilla is free Except for his tail. <laughs> go ahead and get his tail. So his tail will probably have two more strings. Hell is his tail is free! Ooh, I like this. Okay, so simply go ahead and push his tail in. Let's see how hard it is. Some of these are really tough. You gotta spin it or put maybe some soap or something on it. Okay, guys, that is one awesome looking Godzilla. 
Wow, those red spikes on the back. And they almost look like they might be glow in the dark, possibly, or just see through. Uh, but uh, when you get to the end, you can see his tail totally changed. I mean, it's, it's, his tail has been like genetically modified. Take a look at that. That is so cool looking. So he's definitely in proportion to the giant Scar King and the giant uh, Kong with the cyborg beast club. Godzilla vs. Kong toys to unbox and if you look here it's a little dark I don't have my light set up right now but I have tons of uh, rare and really cool Godzillas on my shelf and then got some bigger ones up there I got tons of King Kongs too and lots of dinos and wow just very busy around here. It's Scar King vs. Godzilla! Who will be our victor? It's Godzilla vs. Tiny Scar King! Oh, and he travels into that! It's Scar King vs. Indominus Rex! Who will be our victor? Everyone, welcome to Crazy Dino Toys on YouTube. Today we have another Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire set. This is Kong vs. Shark King. These are exclusive figures to Walmart, and it comes with the four-piece diorama set. Cool. Let's check out the back. So you got an HEAV six-inch Kong, six-inch Scar King with his whiplash and a four-piece uh, diorama. Lava Falls set. Cool. Let's open it up. Okay, let's see what was in here. Cool. These new Godzilla sets are awesome. So there you have it. Got Scar King and Kong. Let's go ahead and free them from their package. Again, they way over package these things. I mean, they have so many like rubber bands and Straps. I mean, the, the packaging on these things would probably go through a hurricane or something. I don't know if that's what their plan was. Or... Huh. Okay, time to rip them out of their packaging. Yes, come on. Okay, there we have Scar King and Kong next to their giant brothers. So there's the other big Scar King with his whip slash. There's the huge Kong with his cyborg arm. Here he's all scratched, but if you look at this one, he's all red, covered in red. So I'm wondering if he was fighting in lava. That'd be kind of cool. And then uh, the Scar King, just like the big one, uh, his uh, whip slash does come apart here so that he can hold it in his hand. So it looks like uh, no, just one hand will hold his whip slash. So there we have it. And I don't know what happened to coloring, but this Scar King is different coloring than the big one too. I mean, if you look at the difference, this Scar King has a lot more red on his chest where the other one's got a bunch more white. So I don't know if this guy was fighting in lava or around lava too. And like I said, with Kong too, you can see, I mean, he's got red all over his chest. Like he was splashed with lava or something where the other big Kong does not. But anyways, uh, all the same features on the small one. I, I think the small one looks even cooler. 
I mean, he's got a really aggressive looking face. Uh, like before, it'd be nice if his face moved somehow. Oh, okay, so here they even went ahead and filled in the bullet holes so you can't really see it like you do on the bigger figures. Let's see if they did that to Scar King. Uh, Scar King, again, he looks naked without his whip slash across his chest. Okay, so they did go ahead and fill in the holes, which is really cool because that adds to the coolness of the figure. And then it comes with this HEAV and this diorama set, which we are going to put together. Okay, so it's time to put these together. First, we got the big crystal set. Uh, you have the slots here that you go ahead and push together. Oops, the front bends out. There you have your first crystal. The second crystal, again, the front bends out. Let's go ahead and... It's best if you try to get both at the same... Ah, I'm being attacked by Scar King! So there we have our second crystal. And then our first lava falls. This bottom piece bends out here. And then you can go ahead and place the top piece there. The top bends over to hide the uncolored part. This one faces the front. Don't make the mistake I did at first of uh, placing it on the back so it's the two outsides are the same. That's not correct. So, because you want all the lava to be seen from the front. So there we have our first lava diorama all put together. Let's go ahead and move that. Now we'll do the second lava diorama again. Bend over the bottom of it. Uh, you got this top piece here. Pop it in there. Bend over the top to hide the white part. And then the back goes the same direction. And then you need the support piece for the bottom. So just go ahead and slide it right in there. And there we have it. We got our dioramas built. And then we set up our Scar King and Kong. We're gonna put one lava diorama there on the side of Kong. The other one on the side of Scar King. So I mean that that's that's why they're all red. I mean, because they're fighting in this great heat of this lava like all around them, so that's probably gonna be one of the battles in the movie. There we have it, our awesome diorama set. I'm gonna let a little bit more light into it so you can see it better. The cool thing is you could actually whip these whip slashes out. The small one, not as much. I mean, you could a little bit. But the big one, I mean, this this one will really whip it out. I mean, take a look at that. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have him holding it enough there. And then whip it out, whip it out, whip it, whip it. Today on Crazy Dino Toys, we're gonna unbox three of the new Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. It's Scar King vs. the Beast Club! It's Godzilla vs. the Beast Club! It's Mini Kong vs. Godzilla! I got it! He's a Kong turns to run, but he gets trampled to death by Godzilla. It's Scar King vs. King Kong vs. It's Godzilla vs. Roars 
we got the Battle Roar Kong, we got the Battle Roar Godzilla, and the Battle Roar Scar King. Cool, let's check these out. Okay, so first up we have is our Battle Roar Kong. Watch this. His mouth actually opens and closes as he roars. How cool is that? Look how his face crinkles because the whole thing's uh, covered in rubber. And there's the back, there's the other ones which I have over here. We're gonna open them all. Let's go ahead and unbox the scary calm bird. So cut the strings, cut it loose. And Kong is free from the package. You guys notice anything missing? from this one he doesn't have the beast glove all the other Kongs have the beast glove except this guy so I don't know what happened did they just forget to put it in there <laughs> I don't know so what this Kong deserves is a Arr! pounding with the beast glove but anyways uh, I do like the fact that their faces uh, move Similar to this Kong that was made by Playmates Toys, but this one, much more realistic looking roar and uh, fighting action. But still, I mean, you know, at least they tried here, so it's, I do like the way he crinkles up his face and does his roar. He does have all the scratches, the sound and everything comes out of his chest. Uh, okay, you can't turn, you could turn his hand, but you can't turn his arm, so it's sort of stuck there, which is, that's kind of dumb. I, I don't know why it's not louder, though. Maybe if you hold it down. Anyways, moving on, we have the Battle Roar Scar King. Let's go ahead and check him out. So he does also move his face muscles when he roars. But he, he looks kind of weird when he does that. <laughs> it almost looks like an old man with no teeth. Oh, man. That does not. It, it doesn't look right. That king looked a lot cooler. Here's the look at the back again. It's Let's go ahead and release Scar King so he can battle it out with King Kong. Cool. And he's free from the pack. <laughs> I don't know, is that just me or does he look like he went on a diet? I mean, this guy looks a lot skinnier than the other Scar Kings. The other ones, uh, this thing did separate. Let's see if it does for, oh uh, no, this is attached. I don't, no, that one's not going to separate. This stinks. You gotta have his, ah, uh, whip slash separate. Even this small one does. Okay, so that, that's definitely a strike against it. He's got these little skinny spindly legs. I mean, how's this guy supposed to stand up to King Kong? Again, his arms do not bend. There's a look at his back. He's got all the bullet holes there. But let's go ahead and take a look at his funny facial expression again. Like, rawr! <laughs> But this guy deserves a punch from the Beast Glove! And finally we got the Beast Roar, or Battle Roar, Godzilla Evolved. Let's check him out. <laughs> oh, I love it when they make him have a tiny little head. Look at that. It's like a little pea on top of a huge sized body. 
I mean, it's... I don't know. To me, it just seems kind of worthless. There's a back, all three of them. Let's go ahead and free him from the packaging! Arr! Do not tell me... I was going to say, do not tell me that's it. That they made it that simple. Looks like we got another one down here. And he's free from the package. Oh no, he lost his tail. Godzilla has lost his tail without it. He has no balance. Actually, his tail's down here, but they tied that down too. Man, I need a break after untying all these things. How many strings do they need to tie these into packages? Okay, at least this one's tail goes on easier. The other Godzilla toy I opened the other day did not. What in the world? Look, he has like cutouts that, oh, okay, maybe these are screw holes. Okay, so they did go ahead and fill in the screw holes on Godzilla, or did they? Yeah, I don't see any. So Godzilla, they decided to fill in all the screw holes, but they didn't on the Kong or the Scar King, which is, oh, but they did it on the Kong or Scar King, which is really Well, anyways, this Godzilla does look cool. I mean, he looks just like the bigger one, which I opened earlier, so it could almost be like a mama and a baby. So there we have our third one. Right, let's go ahead and take another look at his tiny little pea head on top of the huge body. <laughs> Mommy, feed me! Mommy, feed me! He looks like a little bird. <laughs> oh, I don't know why they came up with such a small head. I mean, look at the T-Rexes, what big heads they have, and then pretty much all the Godzillas they came out with had these tiny little heads. It's it just doesn't seem right, but he still has the really cool looking cyborg tail there. Okay, so there is our three Battle Roar action figures. They are cool, uh, in my opinion, uh, they are worth buying. Uh, I do like all of these Godzilla x Kong toys. I mean, some are cheaper made, but for the price you're paying, you're getting a good deal. to Crazy Dino Toys. Today we have three new Godzilla X Kong the New Empire Toys. We've got Godzilla Evolved. We've got Kong with Beast Glove. We've got Star King with Good Flash. Behind them we have the gigantic King Kong in the gigantic Cool. This is a, a really cool King Kong I bought. Uh, 200 bucks but well worth it. It is awesome. Let's start with Scar King with Whip, whip Slash. So the Whip Slash does uh, an attack. You can't attack with it. It says removable. Here's the other ones. I've got uh, 
Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Only one I'm missing is Suko with Titanos. Okay, let's go ahead and free him from his packaging. Scar King is mostly free. Ah. <laughs> I just twisted his head off. Okay, and there is Scar King free from his packaging. And his whip slash that goes around his neck easily detaches and fits into his arm. So he can whip stuff with it. Let's see if you could actually whip it with this, with this one because the other ones, the uh, bigger ones, you could actually. Oh, okay, you can. Ha! 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 Okay, so there he is. Uh, his knees bend, his elbows bend. So this is a nice action figure. They filled in all the holes in the back of him. Uh, here he is compared to the other Scar Kings. So here's the other three uh, Scar Kings. This one here is the roaring one. You push a button on his back and he moves his uh, mouth. And he roars. That's the one that looks almost like a toothless person. So. <laughs> and then you got the big 11 inch one in the background there. This one is an exclusive one. Uh, exclusive figure Scar King vs. Kong uh, diorama from Walmart. So there is the four Scar Kings that are available right now. And then our next one is the Kong with the Beast Club and the HAD. So there you can see the back. Uh, Bile Mimic HAV Beast Glove. This thing says what the Beast Club does. And down here is all the other figures. I have all of them except for Suku. Okay, let's free Kong from his packaging. And Kong is free! Cool. And here's the HEAV that was in the packaging. So this is a uh, cool Kong. I mean, as action figures go, I mean, this has everything you need. The bending elbows, the bending knees. He's got the big bile glove here. He could hold weapons in his hand. He could put his arms way out. So, I mean, I, I'm very pleased with these uh, smaller action figures. They filled in all the bullet holes nicely, so that looks awesome. And the facial expression is awesome. And here's all the other Kongs that are available right now. You've got the 11 inch Kong with the Beast Glove. The one we just unboxed. You got this exclusive figure to Walmart. He does have the Beast Glove and everything. This is the one Kong vs. Scar King with the diorama set. And then this is the one, uh, the Roaring Kong from. I believe I got that from Walmart. Actually, Amazon. So he's got the facial expressions and the real life. And then we got the Godzilla Evolved. So once again, I said I have all of these except for Suko. This is fully articulated with a heat ray. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and free Godzilla. Godzilla is free without a tail he falls over so let's go ahead and clip his tail awesome awesome then we can't forget the heat ray drive okay then all we have to do is assemble him put on his cyborg tail his heat ray breath which uh, I showed before they have these pieces on the side to hold it in his mouth much better than the older figures. So you go ahead and pop that in the top and then it looks like flame is coming out of his mouth at the sides there. 
as you can see so that holds it in much more securely than the other ones that had like one hole but it kept falling out you can see this uh, Godzilla has really cool uh, see-through red spine and then his tail is totally different so I think his tail is some type, some type of cyborg attachment similar to the beast glove on Kong so there we have it they went ahead and filled in all the holes on this figure too so I am very pleased with these seven inch figures I mean they did a good quality job on them okay then here's the other Godzillas that are available in the line you have the roaring Godzilla with the tiny little head and then you've got the big 11 inch Godzilla back there that looks exactly like the smaller figure though I don't know why they didn't give the heat ray breath and then you got the coolest one which is the remote control Godzilla with frost ray breath check this out So he blows out the frost ray breath, his eyes light up, he moves around, his spines light up. And then on top of all that, he can walk to and turn. And as he turns, he does a tail spin. Look, he pushed the other Godzilla over. Haha, <laughs> cool! Okay, then there is our three figures on the box and ready to go. Today on Crazy Dino Toys, we have two more Godzilla X Kong the New Empire Toys. We and Shima vs. Godzilla! Ah, and Shima goes down. She turns to run, but Godzilla tramples her. with frostbite breath we have Godzilla with heat ray cool background we have a giant Kong and a giant Godzilla about to eat that okay so our first one is Shimo with frostbite blast so it looks like Shimo is some type of a dragon type creature looks like a snow dragon Frostbite Breath. Oh, it says Shimo is a legendary ice titan with unstoppable world ending powers. Cool. And then I do have the rest of these. I already reviewed most of them except for Super. Okay, let's go ahead and free Shimo from the packaging. Cool. And then her tail. And her frostbite breath. Okay, time to put Shimo together. So simply go ahead and snap her tail on. And the frost uh, bite breath, just like with Godzilla's, now they changed it so it has sides, so it holds it a lot better. So it just fits right in there. And then she holds it to the side. Her mom. There we go. How cool is that? Look at that. Looks like Frostbite is even coming out 
the side of her mouth. So she is some type of uh, Titano, I guess. One of the Titans. Uh, but she is really cool. A dragon with like a spike tail. Uh, she does walk on all fours, but uh, her legs spread out. So I'm wondering if she could almost like use them as arms and like stand on two. Huh. Okay, she is definitely standing, so that looks really cool. <laughs> okay, so one last look at her. She is really cool, uh, really sharp purple spikes on the top. I mean, she is a cool looking figure. Okay, then we have Godzilla with Heat Ray. From the packaging, and then her tail. Cool. So this is a black and blue Godzilla. So we got heat ray and battle damage. Peep. Okay, so let's go ahead and put Godzilla together. Simply go ahead and snap her tail on. real force to get it on there and then this is the old design I was talking about with the single point to hold it in the mouth which without those side pieces I mean it does fall out really easily and this Godzilla also has the battle damage piece so this Godzilla just like the uh, the uh, one of the King Kongs from the set is just a ripoff of the earlier dino earlier Godzilla and Kongs they came out with last year. So you can see these do not have the cyborg tail, which the Godzilla does have a really deformed cyborg type tail, which I think they added for her to uh, for him to attack. Just like this Kong has the beast love but this other roaring kong that came out in the same line does not so they ripped this one off of last year also so with this godzilla they simply took the same mold from last year and changed the colors but i have nothing wrong with that because it is cool i mean you got these really cool blue and black stripes you got the heat ray coming out of his mouth which to me it looks more like a Frost one because it's blue like that. I mean, you would think the heat ray would be red, but anyways, moving on. So good movement on the tail. The legs are pretty, and arms are pretty much straightforward. The uh, battle piece does pull right out, so you have battle damage, and there we go. Click the subscribe button below this video to see a lot more fun videos. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.